What's up, y'all? So in the last lecture, we left off over here. We created our section. Uh, we added a section onto our web page for our new arrivals. Um, now, what I want to do is I want to below this new arrivals. I want to have an other section, which is a which is going to display uh, menu items, just uh, menu items that we have for our restaurant. I will have a limit of six because I mean any web page, any home page you go for some kind of restaurant or anything that that has e-commerce. Um, typically, they're not going to display every single item on the home page, right? They're going to maybe showcase just a few items, and then maybe you'll have a link below um, a list of them that says "See More" or and. Also, on the top menu, um, uh, on the top of the web page, you have links, and typically you'll have something that says something like menu, uh, menu. So that's exactly what I want to do. I, I'm going to, later on, I'm going to add on the top over here. So you see we have home. I'll have something over here, uh, so, somewhere over here that's going to say menu. So that way, when the user clicks on menu, It'll redirect them to another page which will display every single menu item okay but since this is the home page um, you know we're just showing showing a few items at a time so that's what I'm gonna do here um, all right so let's go ahead and let me take a look at my notes all right so first thing is I'm gonna remove icons from buttons all right so this was a note that I made because one thing I noticed in the previous video after I created the video was that we have these icons here as you can see a trash can and this other stuff and it doesn't make make any kind of sense um, these the purpose of these icons was for the ad, um, were when we were in the admin page right and we were gen creating um, items or like deleting items all right but now that we're here in the home page uh, there's no need for that so what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be a simple fix all we're gonna do is uh, let's see here so we're gonna go to the components and go to the card co uh, card component and let's see let me actually close up the side panel here to make some more room and collapse this a little more there we go all right so you see we have the, these conditions here this is uh, these are the buttons that are gonna be displayed if we are on the admin page and then we have the section right below it which is saying if we're in the whole page then display these these two buttons all right so this is where we want to be at here so you see view product and add to cart all you have to do is uh, this I tag here remove it and remove the other one right here and if we save that go back okay what happened okay let's see here not sure what happened there uh, okay there we go all right so now you see the icons are gone view product app add to cart perfect all right that so that looks a lot better let's go ahead and mark this off all right next we're gonna call get products in use effect now get products this is an action function that we created for redux and we created in a past lecture so what we're gonna do is open up this redux folder and go to the actions and go to product actions and if we go to right here you see we have our get products action function which makes the request and fetches all of our products from the back end so what we want to do is uh, let's see call get products and use effect okay so I just wanted to show you that I'm gonna close this up uh, so go we're gonna go to the home page open up our home page and over here we're gonna bring that in so we're gonna I'm gonna copy this line here which is for the filter actions and below it paste and just change this from filter actions into product actions and then what we're gonna grab from there is the get products action function. All right. 
let's see so now next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna copy this use effect here that we made use of for dispatching our get new arrivals and below we're gonna cut paste it and change this from get new arrivals to get products all right so here we're executing our get products function all right save that and then next is now that that's dispatch it's going to retrieve all the products and return it back to and and store it into our redux state so at that point we're going to select or extract some data from our redux state from our redux store and so i'm going to do a copy and paste below here and change this from loading to products and change this to products all right so now here we have us we have an array of objects which is all of our our items or our products so now we can actually start traversing or displaying all of our items here so let's see here what I want to do is I'm essentially going to be copying a big portion most of this a uh, big portion of what we did for our new arrivals and so I'm gonna copy from here the the whole row and in, and also the h3 tag which gives us our header and below it I'm going to paste it just like so and if we look back you're gonna see we're gonna get duplicate all right so there we go we got a duplicate but I just wanted to but we're obviously going to change that okay so for here for new arrivals what I'm going to do is I'm going to do menu I'm just going to say menu and over here instead of new arrivals we're checking that we have products and then if so we're going to map or traverse all the products go through all the products and then change this to product singular and for the card component we're going to change here give this product product and home page stays true because we are in the home page and if we save that and go back all right look at this so we got new arrivals and look at this we have our menu items with a, look at that that's uh, so eight items another thing I forgot to mention earlier too um, when we started the video was that you probably noticed that I added more items food items because before all I had in the database were these three items so so just to let you know I added more items so that's why you see an addition uh, additional stuff and as a matter of fact uh, you can see here in the new arrivals um, these are the most recent items that we that uh, that I created in the database so they're completely new um, they're, they're, they're they're new items all right and so here we're displaying okay so here we have our menu items okay so that's good that's that's good um, let's see what else all right so call get products and use effect okay we took care of that and test okay well you know what <laughs> actually I skipped this portion here I was gonna before um, before we actually displayed all the items here I was actually gonna do a JSON dot stringify to display the data but anyways that's that that's not important we just skip that test and just mark it as if though we took uh, did it either way we see that the products did arrive and it's to being displayed so that worked um, okay, so next, add products into the UI. We did, we took care of that too. All right, and now uh, display only six items in home page using limit. Okay, um, okay. Actually, I just remember that I mentioned that in the home page we don't want to display all the menu items here. Right? Currently, I'm gonna. You see, we have a total of there's a, a total of eight items here. For the menu items that's being displayed and if i go to the database i'm going to refresh this database and if here i'm currently in the products 
collection and you're gonna see here in the query results we have a total of eight items okay so that I'm I'm displaying all of the products that we have and I said that we don't want all of our items or our, our menu items to be displayed on the home page that's gonna be for its own separate page uh, later on but for the home page we want to limit that so what I want to do is I want to limit a just uh, I'm going to limit just six items to be displayed for the for um, for the home page so the way we're gonna do that is uh, okay we're going to close I'm gonna collapse the client folder and go to in for the back end we're gonna go to the controllers and product and go to this controller to this controller function here all right which is for the read all that's what the get products action function is making use of this right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change this up a little bit and I'm going to add here towards the end a dot limit and add the value of six and if I save that and I go back here remember that initially it was at it was displaying us eight items right so if we go back here let's see all right, it's still showing eight. I think I have to, I'm gonna have to refresh this page. All right, if I go back down, now we have a total of six. So here is our menu section and we're being displayed only six. But now this is really, um, it's really crammed up all this stuff here, right? So let me create some space here. Uh, let's see, all right, so now we're done with that. As, let me just mark this off here. All right, we're done with everything. I'm just gonna make a little tweak here, just uh, create some space. Um, create some space there. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do is in a home page, I'm going to add a horizontal row right above the H3 tag. So H, I'm gonna do HR, and I'm do a class name of py for padding top and bottom of four and if I save that okay you see we have this okay we have the horizontal row here but the the um, hmm, but the padding I don't know why it's, I don't it's, let's see that Uh, let's see here. Oh, there we go. I forgot the dash. There we go. PY dash four. All right, there we go. You see, now we got more room here. I think that looks better. All right, but what I want to do is I also want to add some space here. So I'm going to do the same thing that we did down there and add some space here. So I'll just copy this horizontal row from here. And I will paste it right above the other H3 tag and save that. Go back and now look at that. So now we got more space. I think that looks more elegant. There you go. All right. I think it makes it really clear too to the user that now you see that separation of like um, categories or, or um, like, yeah, like you see that separation of um, sections so here we have our new arrivals and then you see that now we have our menu uh, section here all right and if I collapse this then we can see different devices how they look here you see so this will be like a tablet size so you get your new arrivals you get your menu section there you go and if I collapse even more to mobile size there you go, we got a new arrivals. It's a menu. All right, that looks a lot better. So let me bring that back. All right, so that's it for now. Um, I guess so, I don't know, maybe I'll work, we'll, I guess I'll be good for now. Maybe in the, in the future we'll add some additional stuff here in the, in the home page. But for now, again, also, um, the purpose of this uh, these tutorials right now for this e-commerce it's not so much for the user uh, uh, to show you 
like the the design or to make it more elegant as far as how it looks i mean of course i don't want it to look sloppy neither but it, i want it to just be good enough you know and but the main focus for me overall is just showing you the uh, is really to get across the functionality of like the e-commerce site and how it works all right uh, because if I was to also cram in together into the videos, also the, making the website look really, really nice and, you know, with the styling of CSS, I mean, that would just be a lot of more time. And, and that will be something also that I'll probably do in, in a future video where I'll focus more on the user interface. But I guess for now, this, this, this suffices and it, it looks good enough to me. All right. Uh, so that's it for now. I will see you in another lecture.